Good morning, Sheep fans. Cammy's the name, Sheep's the game. It's the Royal Welsh Show 2023. Some buzz. Well, just having a bit of banter there, and uh, we, we just had that beautiful pronunciation of the lad. It's the longest village name in the world, is that correct? I think so. Uh, oh, in fact, no, I think there's one in New Zealand that's longer. Could well be. But it's the longest sure. one in the UK, so go for it. Sanwar Postwing Gishkal Kereth Windrop with Sandy Silio Gogogoch. And is that spelled just as it sounds? Pretty much so. <laughs> so glad you. All right, go. Do you want me in there as well? Yeah, why not? You can you say it in Welsh as well, bro. Right. Okay. Go. After three. After three. One, two, two three. Boreta <laughs> The sun is shining. The atmosphere is incredible. Everyone's in good spirits. Everyone's happy to be on the sheep game here. Big young, big young farmer event this. It gets rowdy in the evenings, I can tell you. Let's see what some of the highlights of the show are. So, James, you're obviously well known to the sheep game. We've come all the way to Wales and he's on another video. But you're a winner at the Royal Helen show, quite famously crowd surfing at the after party. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, right. Yes, that's that, true. That, we saw a few Snapchats of that. Yes, yes. How did you go in here at the Welsh? Uh, good, really good. Uh, it was champion with the same heifer again. So, really good first time being here in the Summertime coming to winter, so it was good to get a wee turn. And, and what kind of cow was it? She's a limousine cross. It? She's a limousine cross heifer. Uh, she's 15, 16 months old, so 590 kilos. So just perfect for what we are wanting to show. And, and commercial is like it's like for the, it's, it's going to be a good carcass to yes, hang up. It's for the butcher. It's for the, well, the housewife's choice. Housewife's pipe, like table. So that's what it's for. So yeah, unless the husband does the cooking. It's 2023. Yes. And James, of course, is a, a butcher's son. Um, so, uh, do you class yourself as a butcher too? No, no, no I'll, I'll just be a farmer. He's, he's a butcher's son and a farmer, of course, as his father is. But uh, quite a big thing for a butcher to be winning. Oh, it. definitely, it's great. It's great for it's good for my business. It's good for it's good for everybody. So and and will this uh, beast eventually be hanging up in the the freezer at Nisbet, or is it too good for that? You sell it to another butcher. <laughs> uh, I would quite like to keep it as a cow. Oh, I would like, but. Things change, but hopefully she'll go. Okay. Is, that, is that so you can then cut the calves out the side because she's, she's too good a form? Too, too mostly, yeah. <laughs> Some man will. Congratulations. Cheers. We'll see you again. Cheers, man. Let's go. So this is my first time at the Royal Welsh Show, and what a show. More than 200,000 people visit over the four days. There is just so much to see and do. The show started in 1904 at a different venue, but moved to this permanent showground in Bilth Wales, in the heart of Wales, in 1963. This place is huge, and there are over 1,000 exhibitors here at the show. Al's Cousins, who is the genius behind the camera in this video, was busy at the Welsh selling his artwork in the huge shopping section, and up at the Sheep Game merch stand we were non-stop as well. I had no idea there were so many Welsh sheep fans, but it was great fun meeting you all. It was such a busy show, I think I barely got to see 5% of it, so this is just a quick look around and next year we'll plan things a bit better. Look, there was even a pond with a fishing demo. Some show. So we're with Cleon here, he is a hyper and very excited young man. Are you from Wales? Yeah. Yeah. Um, now you don't need to copy all the answers from Dad here. <laughs> what kind of sheep? Have you been showing sheep? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of sheep have you been showing? Uh, 
Valiam. Valwen. Balwen, oh yes, and is that a Welsh breed? Uh, yeah. Yes, and what, what do Balwen sheep look like? Uh, black and white socks. Black and white socks. <laughs> and did you win? <laughs> no. And is that the judge's fault? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> the judge was no good. <laughs> you heard it here first, sheep fans. The Balwen judge was no good. Banter, it's banter. I'm sure the right sheep won, Dad. Is yeah, that right? yeah, 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 yeah. You have yeah. to see that for the camera. Yeah. yeah. Right, thanks, Leon. Enjoy the rest of the show. <laughs> Another star here in the sheep lines. What's your name? Alfie. Alfie, and what are you showing at the Royal Welsh this year? Uh, Blueface Leicesters, and I've shown some Shropshires as well. You, you have some Shropshires and Blueface Leicesters? Yeah, shown some other people as well. Ah, so. right, okay, just because you're good at it? Yeah. Um, he's ours, and I'm shooting for another bloke as well, so. And how did you get on? I see you're fourth, were you, in yeah, the class? Yeah, fourth and third. Yep. So, yeah. And was that a fair result? Yeah, not too bad. Were they well judged? Yeah, not yeah, not bad. I'm, I'm just looking for controversy. I'm looking for someone to say, no, the judge was terrible. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm sure it's fine. And yeah. what's this big chap? Has he got a name? What's that? It'll be Jack Len. Jai. Le Len. Len. Yeah. I sure. like that. It's a 10 from Len. Yeah, so. He's a unit. Have you been feeding him? Straight off the field. Ah, <laughs> love that chat. <laughs> Grass fed. Grass fed. Born on the hill. He's five year old. Yeah, yeah, born on the hill. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tops 100 joules a year. Yeah, what a machine. What a, <laughs> some lad. Well, well done. Yep. We'll see you again yep. next year. See you next year. Some man. Shearing was a massive part of the show and they had the Welsh National Championships and of course the big one, Wales versus New Zealand. But we'll make a new video next week for that one. Now let's have a quick look around the cattle sheds. I didn't know they had this many cows in Wales. We're here in the sheep shed at the Royal Welsh Show. Let's find some interesting people to speak to. And uh, what are these sheep that we've got here? Oxford Downs. Oxford Downs, yeah. yes. I follow the Oxford Downs Society page. Oh, good. Big fans of their work. And did you have a good class of Oxford Downs here? Yeah, we did. I think we had 12 or so in a class. Amazing. And how did uh, these Reserve sheep get on? Reserve female champion. And he didn't do anything, but he's my pet, so. And you love him? Yeah. And that's the main thing. And uh, so he'll is, be is, this a, is this a standard of the Oxford Downs to have this? So actual? that's to judge the wool, the quality of the wool. So you right? Okay, that's interesting. That's how they used to do it. They used to judge the quality of the wool. Why has he not got one? Um, because he's a tup. And you don't do it with tups. Well, no, it's just that use. they've shed. That's wool shed. That is. Ah, right. Okay. They so cast like, it. yeah, in and, the summer. And what's a good selling point of the Oxford Downs? Why would anyone ever want an Oxford Down? To get a big sheep. To get your right, why would massive folk, sheep, why, big carcass. So why wouldn't we just get a Suffolk? Because this is much more friendlier than a Suffolk, obviously. I like it. it. I like it. No, that's good, and I think it's an interesting thing. I think these were hugely popular, and then the Suffolks is sort uh, of yeah. bred in a bit. from Suffolks, yeah, originally, yeah. and something at, um, other breeds to breed something like that. Yeah, very similar. Beautiful looking sheep and a tremendous looking carcass for sure. Okay, so I'm here with Summer of Cheshire Valley Black Rose, and how have you got on at the show today? Uh, or so, this weekend, I should say. <laughs> uh, so we won reserve champion and uh, female champion, male champion, and overall champion. So done all right. <laughs> and that's in the Valley Black Nose. Yes. Yeah. Did uh, did it get into an interbreed? Um, we actually did quite well in the interbreed. Uh, we got pulled forward twice uh, for the last top six 
shops. Yeah, yeah. So that, and there's a lot of breeds in there, so that's quite good. Oh, massive at a show yeah. like this. And it's so hard for the valleys because they're judged on different yeah. traits than, than other breeds yeah, are. Definitely. How did you get into Valley Black Nose? Um, well, it was my dad that um, officially saw like a picture of them and just thought they were amazing. And he was like, yeah, yeah. it has to have them. Yeah. So we now have the biggest flock in the UK. So Is that right? You're bigger than Tom Blackwood? Yeah, we have over 200 of these sheep. Oh, he's chasing you though. <laughs> he, ch yeah. 200 females? Um, we have more females than males, uh, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's chasing you down. No, it's bad for me because I've got to shear them. Like, it's heartbreaking <laughs> whenever, whenever Tom phones and says, I've bought more sheep. I'm like, please, Tom, just stop. I can't do it anymore. Yeah, no. but who shears your sheep? Uh, we get some people coming in. It varies, really. Sometimes it changes. But... Oh, that sounds like a Valley Black Nose thing. It's like, yeah. all of a sudden, he's changed his number. We can't get him. Yeah. Yeah, you know? And is that a good show? Yeah, I love the show. It's amazing. It's massive. What's the best thing about it, apart from the fact you always win? Um, I think see, like seeing all the community and seeing people that love the sheep. You're going to be a politician someday. <laughs> anyway, thanks for chatting Thank to me. You. Good luck for three in a row next year. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs>